Hey guys, welcome back to our video. FNAF22 here with our video. And in today's video, we are on day four, I think, of Oktoberfest of 2022. And for today, we are gonna be talking about top 10 horror characters, or like just characters who come from horror things that I think should be in the next Mortal Kombat. Now, we're not sure what the next Mortal Kombat will be. Obviously, we have the mobile game, but I'm talking about the real games. We're not sure if we're gonna remaster or MK12 or what we're gonna get, but this is just gonna be 10 characters who should be in the next like real installment of Mortal Kombat. Now, I wanna give some honorable mentions out to a couple characters, and those are characters like Chucky and Annabelle, who can't be on this list just because of their height because they're too small to be characters, obviously. So Chucky and Annabelle are gonna be on here as honorable mentions just because they're way too small. But let's jump in to the number 10 spot. So forgot to mention that I am still sick, so sorry if I sound weird. But coming in at number 10, we have the girl from the ring. Now, some people do like this movie. Um, I couldn't really think of any like female horror characters who could be in Mortal Kombat so this is really the only one I've got on the list and I've never seen any of the rings that's why she comes in here at number 10 so I don't really have much to say about her except for I know some people like her and I feel like her moveset could be unique but that's all I can really say since I've never seen her movies or anything like that so the ring girl comes in at number 10 let's move on to number 9 now coming in at number 9 we have Art the Clown from Terrifier now, I've also never seen Terrifier 1 or 2, but from what I've heard, it is very extremely gory, and that perfectly fits in with Mortal Kombat. I, once again, never seen the movie, so I can't really say, like, what, if I'd like his alt or his moveset, but all I can say for sure is he definitely would have some really, really cool fatalities, because I've heard that his second movie that just came out this year is terribly glorifying and it has just people leaving the theaters and that's all I can really say for him so Terrifier comes in at number nine he would have some really cool fatalities let's move on to number eight coming in at number eight we have Jigsaw from the Saw movies now I know what some of y'all might be saying how can I not add in like Chucky or Annabelle or whatever but can add Jigsaw first off Jigsaw is a lot taller than both those characters I think I'm pretty sure second off he's actually been like scaled up to height okay if you made Chucky look tall he would look weird but in Call of Duty Jigsaw did come out as a skin I think last year and they made him taller and he didn't look bad so that's why I'm saying he could work or I know there's an actual killer behind the puppet I've never seen the movies because I'm just a scaredy cat when it comes to horror movies but I feel like either way you can make him work, but if not, that's why he only comes in here at number 8. But I feel like there could be a way that you could still make him work, and I feel like his moveset could be really, really unique. I don't know what you would do with his alts, but his moveset would be really cool. So that's why Jigsaw comes in at number 8. Let's move on to number 7. Coming in at number 7, we have Ghostface from Scream. Now, this is a very iconic horror character, and with who they've added so far, if you want to know who that is, that's Alien, Predator, Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, and Freddy Cougar. I'm very surprised we have not got Ghostface, as he is a very iconic character. He's been around for a while, and even though he's not the most, like, crazy whatever so killer he is very cool and a lot of people really like him in his movies he's not very unique like i said but very cool um i feel like a lot of people would love to see him in mortal kombat his moveset might not be the best his i feel like his fatalities could be unique maybe not cool or very gory but unique and i know a lot of people would love to see him come into the game um i've seen all of his movies actually probably one of the only horror characters i've seen all of his movies and I wouldn't be surprised in the next maybe one or two Mortal Kombat games if Ghostface made it in with his high popularity. So that's why Ghostface comes in here at number seven. Let's move on to number six. Coming in at number six, a character I feel like that wouldn't really have a chance would be really cool is Slenderman. Now Slenderman comes from 
a video game, obviously. Well, a creepypasta, but he's more, like, video game orientated. And I feel like a lot of people forget about him because he's not as popular as he was back in the day. But just think about this. I think it'd be really, really cool to have him in Mortal Kombat. I feel like he could be so unique. His moveset could be so cool. I don't really know. You could do so much with his fatalities. And obviously, he wouldn't have many alts. Maybe a couple cool ones, but that's really it. Really not much you can do with his alternate costumes, but I think he'd be a really cool character, have a really cool moveset, there's so much you can pull from his games and his creepypastas, and even his horrible movie that he had, so much you can pull, but he's only coming in here at number 6 just because he's not as popular as he was back in the day, and I feel like a lot of people would overlook him if he came into the game, but I feel like he could be a really cool addition. So let's move on to the top 5. Coming in at number 5, we have Ash Williams from Evil Dead. Now, I know a lot of people would put him a lot higher on this list, but I've only seen, I think, his first movie, and that's it. And I think he's a really cool character, a lot of cool stuff you could pull from his movies to put into the game. It could be a very unique character with a very unique moveset, and I know a lot of people, like, for example, Uncaged Games, really wants him in Mortal Kombat. I'm not saying it would be a bad character, it just wouldn't be my first choice, but I would love to see him in the game. He could be so cool. I would love to see how they use him. He could have definitely a lot of cool alts, because I know he has a lot of movies or just a lot of versions of his character. And yeah, he would definitely be a very cool character, and a character that makes a lot of sense for Mortal Kombat. Literally, he has a shotgun and a chainsaw arm how can you not add that that'd be so cool so he definitely would work very very well but he only comes in here at number five just for me personally so let's move on to number four coming in at number four for me it would either have to be sam or dean from supernatural now this isn't really like a horror thing but it kind of is it's based off like paranormal stuff that happens but most of you have probably seen this show it's a really good show but either Dean or Sam, I could not choose. Personally, I would choose Dean, but I feel like you would have to add both. That's why they both come in here at number four, because I feel like that'd be like making a Mortal Kombat game without Scorpion or without Sub-Zero. It just doesn't work. You would need, need sorry, Dean and Sam. So I'd love to see both of these guys come out. Their movesets would work so well. Their alts, great, fatalities, brutalities, all that good stuff. I feel like they would overall really fit. The only sucky part is the show has ended, spoiler alert, by the time of it ended a couple years ago. So I feel like it'd be kind of hard to get popularity behind them, but I still feel like a lot of people would love to see them in the game, and I feel like they could work really well as characters. They may not be like horror slasher characters, but they are still characters that would fit in this genre. That's why I have Dean and Sam coming in here at number four. Let's move on to the top three. As you guys all knew, it had to be coming at some point. Coming in at number three, we have Springtrap from Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, you guys know I love Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's, Mortal Kombat, Call of Duty, some of my favorite games of all time. You know I would have had to add at least one Five Nights at Freddy's character in this list. And I feel like the character that would fit most in the Mortal Kombat would have to be Springtrap. Just because of how he is... He's the most brutal character in the game. He's the only character I feel like you could use, maybe him and a couple others, but him mostly that you could use in Mortal Kombat and it wouldn't look wrong. And it would just be so cool. I'd love to see all of his alts. He has so many different ideas you could do. You could do a purple guy alt, you could do a burn trap, all that good stuff, scrap trap, whatever you wanna do. I feel like he would work really, really well. His moveset would be kind of hard, but there's some key things you can pull. Maybe something with fire, with axes, you know, stuff like that. It would be kind of hard to think of a moveset, but you can make it really, really unique. And I'd love to see Springtrap make it into Mortal Kombat, and I would definitely buy him. Just saying. So that's why he comes in here at number three. Let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two, we have Pennywise the Clown from the It series. Now, I'm very, very surprised with how long he's been around and how long Mortal Kombat's been doing DLC characters for a couple years now and they still have not added Pennywise the Clown. It's very very surprising as he is a main horror character franchise. He's been around since I think the 1990s and there's so much to pull. He's had three movies I think because there's the original and then there's the chapter one and chapter two but yeah, he has so much you could pull from, so many cool alts. You could do the new one, you could do the classic. 
Uh, with him, random colors would actually work, unlike making like Sub-Zero red like they do. It doesn't make any sense to me personally. But yeah, his fatalities could be so cool. I'd love to see some kind of inclusion of the spider it. And I just think overall he would work as a really well character and it, it would just make sense. I think he will eventually come into the game. I'm not sure when, but eventually he definitely will. And that's why it comes in here at number two. Let's move on to number one. And coming in my number one spot for the character who deserves to mostly be in Mortal Kombat out of the horror franchise is Michael Myers. Now, when you think of horror characters like slashers, I'm pretty sure the first four that come to your mind would be Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and maybe Ghostface. Well, I talked about Ghostface earlier, but the fact that Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger are both in Mortal Kombat and Michael Myers is not is actually crazy. Especially because Mortal Kombat has Chainsaw Massacre and they don't have Michael Myers. I think that's really crazy. There's so much you could pull from. He may be a basic character, like when it comes to movesets and fatalities and stuff like that, but I feel like he can have really cool brutalities and he can have so many cool alts just because there's so much to pull from, from his content. He's had literally over 40 years of movies. I'm sure you could get some good stuff out there and make a really cool, unique character. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you will always be notified when I drop another video. I'm so sorry that this one wasn't like as overexcited like I usually am for you guys. Just have not been feeling good. My head really hurts. And yeah, I'm hoping I'll be feeling better. But we're still gonna finish October week. We're almost there. We saw Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. So this is day four. Day five will be tomorrow, which will be the FNAF one, which I hope you guys are excited for. So yeah, and let me know in the comments down below, out of this list, who would you want the most in Mortal Kombat? And in your opinion, which horror character would you want in Mortal Kombat the most? I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Deuces.